Welcome in the podcast Herbavirus, about pandemics and urban planning. The coronavirus is hitting the whole world today. This pandemic has an impact on people's behavior, and it will for sure have consequences on the territory. But let's have a look with an urban perspective. What is the impact of the coronavirus on urban planning? How to imagine the city of tomorrow? How the pandemics had already shaped cities in the past? Whether you are an apprentice urban planner, a public authority, a professor or a simple citizen, this podcast is made for you. Junaid, Paul and I, Mathilde, invite you to listen to our first episode, Historical Perspective, Paris in Times of Pandemics in the 19th Century. Here we go! Hello, today we're going to talk about Paris and pandemics. In fact, the pandemics as plague, cholera, tuberculosis may have shaped cities in the past. To answer our questions on these subjects, we receive a historian, Paul Mikulovic. Good morning and thank you very much for inviting me. So, Paul, why through history cities have been home to major diseases? Uh, so it is true that through history, uh, cities have been affected by many pandemics. Indeed, there are places of exchange, of contact, which bring together a large number of people and end up being the epicenter of many viruses. And even uh, today, agglomerations are the first touched by the coronavirus. Uh -huh. So let's go back in history. During the 19th century Paris, was affected by two dramatic pandemics. What were the causes? Uh, at the beginning of the 19th century, Paris uh, still largely presents itself as a medieval city. The city center is very congested, poor and dangerous, and victim of many diseases. And also the buildings are too high compared to the wide of the street. There is no sun and no light. Uh, the streets are unsanitary and many Chinatown, uh will be conducive to the explosion of pandemics. And in 1832, a first pandemic of cholera will touch the city and will make 25,000 dead, and almost the same 70 years later. Um, during this same period of time, the rural exodus is massive and the Parisian population increased by a lot. And this ultra density could be a factor of propagation. Mm. And what were the consequences of those pandemics on the city? Firstly, uh, the inequalities already very present in cities at, at this time were particularly felt during these epidemics. It is first of all uh, the most disadvantaged population crowding into overcrowded and insanitary housing which are affected and all the more since the water evacuation and filtering system were still almost non-existent in the cities with this time. The lack of health infrastructure for all has been essential is the spread of the disease. Mm. And have there been any urban solutions implemented following the virus? So, as it says in the book Lessons from Paris, uh, as most of the decline in mortality during the so-called epidemiological transition is linked to infectious diseases, large-scale public innovation should be expected to matter a lot in that period. So, I think it is true that following this event, there is a general awareness of the need to build sanitation facilities. Um, this will lead to a new line of thought, hygienism. And this movement has already been advocated in history, especially in ancient Greece, where people were already trying to ventilate the cities as much as possible. Uh, in Paris, there is the development of the sewage system development, the wastewater treatment, um, the waste collection. And this also translates into an opening of the city beyond its border and within it in order to ventilate the city. Osman will be called by Napoleon III to take charge of the prefecture to be able to carry out this improvement. And also Osman will be responsible uh, for major breakthrough which will create the boulevard to ventilate the city that we can see today. And also the development of public transport in order to spread across the territory. Thank you to both of you for clarifying historical facts with us. Let's stay in Paris, but we invite you to slide to the current context by listening to our next episode. See you soon! Satisfaction sans élégance, non, non, alors que plus le prix, Paris sera toujours.